calls me Lars by mistake. No, no, no. Us New Yorkers, uh, we experience life a little differently. Give me an example. Last February, I had occasion to fall eight stories down an elevator shaft. I was happy to be alive, but I was ticked off I missed my floor. But that's not my Achilles heel. My big problem is I spend money with reckless abandon. Last month, I blew $5,000 at a reincarnation seminar. I got to think of what the hell. You only live once. Oh, I've been through a suicidal period of my life. I can talk about it now. Thanks for the concern. Yeah, I was upstairs in my room, hacking away at myself with a sharp instrument. My mother comes in screaming, Ronnie, Ronnie, what the hell are you doing? Those are the good scissors. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. But family is everything. My father's gonna be a wealthy man very soon. He has a $10 million liability suit pending against the zoo. Yeah, the sign said, do not feed the animals. Mention nothing about sticking your head through the bars. That's my family. I was a rather precocious child. I used to glue extra wings on flies. <laughs> and then watch them attempt to navigate at speeds beyond their control. <laughs> oh, Mr. Fly, not such a big shot at Mach 7, are you? <laughs> Little wings can't take the G's? <laughs> I used to be afraid of the dark. I still am. So now I sleep with the lights on. My eyes open. <laughs> Standing up, holding a grenade. <laughs> I'm the kind of person, I think you can sense this. I like to live life right on the edge. <laughs> so I eat poison mushrooms. <laughs> but I stuff them with the antidote. Well, it's important what you eat. Uh, I retain the services of a professional nutritionist. My guy believes that fish is brain food. So each day he has three ounces of sockeyed salmon pumped directly into my head. <laughs> I don't know if I'm any smarter, but I have a tremendous urge to force myself up the shower nozzle. <laughs> Spawning, that's what it's all about. Relationships, the most important thing in the world. They give us a reason to live. Revenge. <laughs> now, this is true. They say that women who are dating are psychologically looking for their fathers. Gee, I don't know. Of the girls I've dated, their fathers are looking for me. <laughs> but I'm married. I've been married 28 years. Well... I've taken the liberty of calculating that in dog years. <laughs> Just the way I feel about it, yeah. <laughs> Wife and I have an open marriage, but nobody wants in. <laughs> yeah, I got married. I'll tell you why I got married. I'll tell you why I married this girl. I'll tell you why. It'll come to me here in a second, I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I asked her one question. I said, honey, if I was in a fire and I was burned beyond recognition, would you still love me? And she said, yes, even more so. <laughs> but you know what I really hate? I hate it when women are less than honest in bed, if you get my drift. Hey, I'm an experienced lover. I know when my wife is faking consciousness. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. Good to see you again. Oh, thanks, John. You grew it back, didn't you? My mustache. Last time you were on the show, you were sans mustache. Right. Why'd you grow it back? Tax purposes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Your accountant didn't tell you? No. Oh, I'm surprised. <laughs> well, you don't always get what you pay for, huh? Yeah. It's kind of like alimony. <laughs> yeah. You just felt a little naked without it, or what? I did, yeah. 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 Things are going well? Very good, thanks. Yeah. Not bad. You don't live out here now, do you still? I still live in New York, yeah. Yeah. I can't make the move. I don't know. Why not? Uh, I think the North Pole is now located there, and it's just the magnetism. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps me there. It's nothing like that. Yeah. Did you always want to stand up in front of an audience and be funny? No, nah, the furthest thing from my mind. Really? I never knew really what I wanted to do. I took one of these, um, what do you call it, aptitude tests. Yeah. Results came back. The counselor called me in. He said, Mr. Shakes, would you rather be a transvestite hooker or work in a slaughterhouse? <laughs> so? I was happy I had options. You know? <laughs> Here to present.